So let's talk about this term random assignment. So when we're talking about psychology and experiments and all that, we know that when we're talking about assignment, we're going to assign um, the people or whatever it is that we're testing into an experimental group, which is the group that receives the treatment, and a control group, which is our comparison group. And so this term random just means that we're going to randomize that process, right? So each participant or, or whatever it is that we're testing has an equal chance, an equal opportunity to get the experimental group, right? It's not like the experimenter is picking them out and, say, um, just putting certain people in experimental group in the control group, right? And so what random assignment actually does is that it helps limit the influence of unknown variables or different confounding variables that might um, appear in our experiment. And so random assignment allows us to limit that influence of these unknown variables and the bias uh, so that we get a more accurate result in our experiment. And so if we just talk about an example of this, um, so let's say, for example, we're testing the effect of caffeine on the aggressiveness behavior of people, right? So if we were to let the people choose which group they wanted to be in, <clears throat> um, the experimental group, the one that receives the caffeine versus the control group, then we might end up with some um, influence of these confounding unknown variables. For example, um, maybe the people who pick the caffeine are already aggressive, and so that will affect the results of our experiment. So basically, to sum it all up, random assignment just means that we're going to randomize the process of putting people in an experimental group and a control group and that way the start of those groups are or both of those groups are similar at the start um, and that way we can compare the differences at the end when testing our um, variables and so basically random assignment just allows us to limit the influence of these unknown variables to give us a more accurate um, result for our experiments.